Dude, I'm going to find a fucking, like, a Thanksgiving, one of those crappy pictures for memes where it's, like, a dude with, like, a turkey baster, and he's a turkey, and it's Thanksgiving-y, and he's, like, got a shit-eating smile on his face, like, and then I'm, like, here, here, my friend's wife, it's a turkey baster full of my semen, just like I promised. What the fuck? I know, right? I just put this headset back on, and that's the first thing I hear. Welcome to the Xbox Live Show, Stone Soup Podcast, Gamer Prawn. Sunday, 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 on Thursday. Turkey baster full of... That's determination. Yeah, like, I, I'm after after Sin <laughs> left, and it was in this period of time he was at work, I, I uh, made a, um, a very religious person that was the most fanatical religious person I've ever met on Xbox... I made them run screaming, like basically they were like, "He won't stop telling me a fact," and he like ran away. It was live too, dude. He was so calm and reasonable, and like a rational being that even though he was absolutely batshit crazy, I still had to be nice to him because he was just so reasonable, right? Like he was like, "Oh, my religion isn't a religion; it's it's reality." I'm like, oh, you know it to be true, do you? And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, no, this wasn't a religious role. This was just a random dude that was, like, super fucking religious. He was, like, wanting to put my nose in it immediately. Like, by the way, I'm Christian. Like, he's like, I'm just getting that right out there. Like, by the way, I'm a pickle puffer. Just getting that out there right away. Like, he didn't say that, but, like, that's what it was like, except Christian. And then I'm like, okay, well, you're reasonable, so I'll talk to you and I'll I'm going to show you a fact and then see what you do with it. And so I gave him that fact about decomposition and where all the particles go and how it transmute up, up into the food chain and that the particles that make your consciousness become the future consciousness. And so that's a reason to be empathetic to everything. And, like, he wouldn't let me finish. Like, I think he saw where it was going by the very end and I had, like, two more sentences left. And he was like, let me say something. I'm like, hold on, I got two more sentences. No, you're not letting me speak. And he went like all Bill O'Reilly on me instantly. Went from this like super, super calm to like triggered, irrational fucking Bill O'Reilly troll badgering me into silence. And then when I was like, dude, just wait, I got two more sentences. Like, you're interrupting me. I will let you speak, but you're not letting me finish. And like, I'm totally being reasonable with it. But he fucking just runs screaming. I met some girl that was better than anybody I've ever seen at this game. She fucking just pwned me. Like, pwned me. I invited her, made friends with her, and then offered her a turkey baster with my semen. <laughs> and she, she said... Icebreaker. <laughs> yep, yep, indeed. <laughs> Ice melter. <laughs> and, uh, she, she was, like, she hung out a little while after that, like, still, like, maybe out of just morbid curiosity to see what kind of fucking insane shit I would say. And, uh, she hung for a little while and then she said she had to go run errands in town. Which could either mean that she actually legitimately had to go run errands. Or, more than likely, means, yeah, I gotta get the fuck away from you, politely. The joke is, like, you know, Superman's flying along and, like, he's, like, looking down on buildings and shit, looking for crime. And he, he looks down, he sees Wonder Woman naked on a rooftop sunning herself. And he's like, well, fuck, like, I'm faster than a speeding bullet. I'll just fly down there and fucking give me some of that wonder pussy. And bickety bam, be out of there. She won't even know what happened. She, he's like, fuck it, Whew, zips down there. Bickety bickety bam, 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 bam. Flies off. Ah. Uh. And then she, Wonder <laughs> yes. Woman says, okay. what the fuck was that? And the invisible man says, I don't know, but my asshole sure hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, the only reason I say Superman is because he has that one re weakness, right? Kryptonite. I mean, just out of the gate, that seems like the obvious choice. Um, like, Batman always bothered me because he's, like, he's a badass guy, but, I mean, he's got a lot of money. Right? I mean, you know. And? Yeah. He, he could be, like, the Jet Lee of the streets. He still wouldn't, like, stand a chance against Superman. Right, of course Actually, not. Actually, well, I mean... Well, I mean, if he... I don't, I don't really know if... That he gets sand and kryptonite. Cannon, but he whoops like, Superman's ass really good. Well, here, check this out. Check this out, right? So, they they paint Batman as this like really clever guy, and like he'll just figure out a way. He'll use his brain to make up for what he can't beat him and draw. Yeah, right. I mean, he, That's he what they try to paint. Fucked him up. Well, whatever. If he was fucking smart, 
He'd fucking take his billions, he'd eliminate economic enslavement and poverty, and he, that would eliminate almost all the crime in the entire city. Instead of playing a whack-a-mole strategy where all the crime and all the poverty creates the crime. And he, he, does, he just goes out every night and like whack-a-moles a couple of dudes and then the poverty and shit produces like 18 more criminals that day and he doesn't make any progress and he could actually fix See, it with his billions of dollars as Bruce Wayne. But he's an that's idiot. That's the thing about it though. Like that. It's like a Brute force versus well, an yeah, elegant solution. That's what I was... That's what I was gonna say. He's not an idiot, definitely, but he is a psychopath and he has a vendetta. That's he's why irrational. he doesn't do it like that. Because yeah, he likes irrational. punching people in the face. Indeed, indeed. He just means he's rich, though. He could buy hookers, punch them in the face. He could buy clowns. We could ship him all the clowns from our clown apocalypse. And he could pay us to punch all those clowns in the face. <laughs> Who was it? Someone else said, yeah, like you did that, he could just. Focus on all the clowns instead of the regular criminals.